All right, number seven, we want to put uh, the correlation coefficients in order from weakest to strongest. So the ones that's closest to zero to the one that is closer to either positive one or negative one. So the smaller value, you want to think about the absolute value of each of these numbers. The smallest value is this one. When I think about absolute value, the next smallest would be this one. And then 0.4, then 0.8 and then negative 0.9 will be the strongest correlation um, between those values. Um, eight, we got four parts. It says the data in the table are based on the survey. We're comparing commute times of adults to their score on a well-being test. So we're going to complete parts A through D. And so based on this data, we want to know which variable is likely to explain be the explanatory variable and which one is the response. Um, commute time, well-being. So if you think about this, does your commute to work um, affect your well-being or does how well you are affect your commute time? I would think your commute time would affect your well-being because if you have to sit in traffic, it probably irritates you more. Um, however, it doesn't matter if you're irritated or having a good mood. It's not going to affect the time it takes you to get to work. Um, that's going to vary based on the traffic. So um, in my opinion, just thinking about in those terms, I would say the commute time would explain um, the well-being. So response would be the well-being as it affects explanatory would be the well-being response is commute as it affects well-being explanatory is well-being explanatory is commute response is well-being because commute affects well-being yes C would be the one I'm looking at D they got one I didn't see that one explanatory variable is well-being response is commute. Okay, I think it's C is going to be the best one. Um, we're going to draw a scatter diagram. So low time, high well-being. As this number goes up, this number tends to go down like it's trending down. So um, it should be a negative relationship. The one that looks the best negative relationship is going to be D. So we could probably plot that on a graph um, and, and match it or in the calculator. But just to save some time, we're kind of looking at the pattern. One goes up, the other one is going down. All right, so we want to determine the correlation coefficient between commute time and well-being. So um, I'm going to got the critical values here. They will allow me to copy this in Excel. I'm going to show you how to do the R in Excel. Um, pretty similar to the other methods, just to save time again. So we have the two data sets here. We're going to go to formulas, more functions, statistical. We're going to compute, compute correlation right here. And then it says Array 1. I'm going to click this one. Go down here, Array 2. We're going to click and drag this one. So you tell it which data sets we're looking at, and it computes it immediately right there. I'm going to click OK. And it puts it up here. I should have clicked on a different cell, but this is my R. It's a negative 0.965 to three decimal places. Negative 0.965. Double check that. Doesn't round up. Okay. And then um, the last part, let me zoom out a little bit so I can see all these options. <clears throat> Does a linear relationship exist between well being index score? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven data points. So you would look at the table seven is 0.745. So when we do the absolute value 
of r's is going to be a 9. And since the 9 is greater than the 0.7, there is 1. So we will say yes, commute time and well-being score a positive association because r is positive. Nope. Um, yes, or positively associated. R is negative and the absolute value of the correlation is greater than. Uh, so what is it asking? Linear relationship. Yes, commute time and well-being score are negatively associated. Yes, because R is negative. Absolute value of the correlation coefficient is greater than the critical value. Yes, the critical value was 0 0.754. 0 0.754. So that's going to be the best explanation. There's a negative relationship. Um, it is a linear relationship because of the R being greater than the critical value.